We're going to practice two-digit subtraction for the problem 42 minus 26 equals what? I'm going to line the numbers up so that all of the tens are in the tens place and all of the ones are in the ones place. In the ones place I have a two and a six and in the tens place I have a four and a two. Now let's start with the ones place to subtract. I'm going to follow the rule more on the floor go next door. I'm going to circle the number that is bigger in the ones place. Two or six. Six is bigger than two so I'm going to circle it. This follows the rule more on the floor so I need to go next door to borrow. I have a four in the tens place and I need to borrow from the four to give over to the ones place so that I can subtract six from two. Think of four as four longs in base ten blocks. One, two, three, four. I'm going to be borrowing one of those tens. So if I take away a ten, I only have three left. And I'm going to be bringing it back over to the ones place. So picture bringing that base ten block over to the ones place. Now, if I start out with two in the ones place and I add ten and the ten was taken from the long, I now have not two but twelve and from that twelve now I can take away six. That leaves me with six in the ones place if I start with 12 and take away 6 and if I subtract, if I do 3 minus 2, I get a 1 in the tens place. That means that 42 minus 26 equals 16. Let's try this again. I'm going to try 53 minus 25 to find the answer. I lined up my tens and my ones. 53 minus 25. We start with the ones place. Let's check our rule. More on the floor, go next door. I'm going to circle the bigger number. 3 and 5. 5 is the bigger number. That follows the rule. More on the floor, go next door. So I need to go over here to my tens place. If I have five tens and I borrow one to give to the one ten to give to the ones place, I now have four tens. I'm going to bring that 10 over to the ones place. If I add 10 to 3, I get 13. So 3 becomes 13. Now I do not have more on the floor because I now have 13 minus 5, which equals 8. 13 minus 5 equals 8. And 4 minus 2 equals 2. That means that 53 minus 25 equals 28. Let's try a problem that does not follow this rule. 48 minus 36 equals what? I'm going to look at my ones place. I'm going to circle the bigger number. 8 and 6. 8 is the bigger number. This does not follow the rule more on the floor go next door. I do not have more on the floor. Now I can just subtract in the ones place. 8 minus 6 equals 2. Then I continue to subtract my tens place. 4 minus 3 equals 1. So I learned that 48 minus 36 equals 12 and I only need to borrow from the tens place, I only need to go next door if there is more on the floor. In this case, there is more up above.